If you don't like this show, blame climate change and therefore stop oil. Really, instead of stopping oil, donate and subscribe. And Brian Lilly, what's going on in the Jasper floods, fire anywhere, you have letters to the editor all the time and you have columnists all the time saying, it's because of climate change that this is happening. Why don't people, why aren't they educated to know that yeah, we had floods before, we had fires before. There are other reasons aside from climate change and everybody's saying stop oil. Yeah, there's a column in the Star the other day that said uh, the Jasper wildfires happened because we haven't stopped pulling oil out of the oil sands. <laughs> and I thought, D -d -d are you that dumb that you don't know that there used to be wildfires there before? But well, that's okay. it. That but, dumb. But, but, are we but, uneducated? But let, let me just put it this way. If climate change is your number one priority, and you believe that all these bad things are happening for climate change, then what should you do? Whether it's the Toronto floods or the Jasper wildfires, you should mitigate your risk. You should adapt. You should have forest management practices that don't lead to giant wildfires going through a national park. You should have- Which is what we didn't have in Jasper, I understand. No, we did not. And you should have policies that say, oh, we're gonna fix the sewer pipes in Toronto. The Toronto floods that happened a couple of weeks ago, we had 70, so in 2013, there was a huge flood in Toronto. It was awful. And what did city council, uh, the city report to the council say? It was due to climate change. And then this year, we had 70% of the rainfall that we had in 2013, we flooded in all the same places. And what they say? Oh, it's climate change. So it's an easy out for politicians of all stripes, municipal, provincial, federal, say- It's a get out of jail free card. Absolutely, climate change. But we're, there are so many suckers and they are, they're uneducated okay. suckers who believe that. But then do something about it. So Which fix is why the, you're on the show. Fix the pipes in Toronto. Yes. Do forest management practices. Canada unfortunately followed the, the, the horrible practices that California took over years ago that said, we're going back to nature. Okay, well, what happens in forest in nature? They, they burn. They burn big, bigly, as Donald Trump would say. They burn huge. And so we came in as humans and we said, if we're going to live here, we need to do practices. Indigenous people did it. White colonial settlers did it. We all did it. And we said, we're going to find ways to manage the burn so that it doesn't drive us all out, that it doesn't destroy everything. And we know, the trained people know those ways. And unfortunately, the Trudeau government adopted the same policies that led to disastrous results in California and said, we're going to go back to nature. Well then, nature burns, and so do towns like Jasper. Thankfully, only 30%. But that's still too much. It was a disaster, but it is. You're absolutely right. It's just too much. So instead of saying, you know, blame climate change, we should say, blame Justin Trudeau. Yes. <laughs> Brian Lilly, always fascinating. Thank you very much. Three minutes. Blame Trudeau. This show provides independent analysis of the issues. We are not paid by the government. And as I am finding, so much business in Canada relies upon various governments that they don't want to sponsor or advertise on a show which may become controversial, which talks about liberty, freedoms, sometimes criticizes government. I've had guests on that support the government, but people are saying, you know what? We don't want to bite the hand that feeds us, i.e. government, which is why I hope you'll subscribe and contribute to keep this show on the air.